Hello everybody, it's Wendy, and today we are going to make the mate to this cute little earring using um, some lapis beads and some blue rondelles that were in the bargain bead, bead box for the month of June. Okay, so um, if you want to make this, here is what you're going to need. You're going to need the t one of the toggle bars. We're going to need two, obviously. Two of the toggle bars that were in the box this month. You are going to need four of the little indigo rondelles. You're going to need seven of the blue lapis beads. This is per earring, so 14 of these, eight of these, two of these. Uh, two lever backs, or you can use any type of um, ear wire that you choose. I wanted lever backs for this. I'm trying to keep it from being really, really long, so I was trying to do a smaller earring. Um, and my posts, which is what I would have used, but my posts don't open right here, so I would have had to use another jump ring, which would have defeated the purpose of trying to use a smaller ear wire. So um, I'm just going with the lever backs. I've got two size 2 crimp tubes, two um, crimp bead covers, two four millimeter jump rings and one two millimeter jump ring okay and that's all you're going to need and a piece of tiger tail now this is seven strand accuflex um beading wire you can get this at hobby lobby michaels um, just about anywhere you want um, and that's all you're going to need. So just go ahead and grab all that stuff and come on back and we will make this little earring. It, it makes up really quick and simple. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to attach our tiger tail to our little um, toggle bar. So I'm going to put my, my crimp tube on. I'm going to go ahead and bend my tiger tail right around here and go back through my crimp tube. Just like this. Now, what's really important when you're crimping this together is that your wires, your two tiger tail pieces, not be crossed. And I'm trying to show you if I can get that little crimp tube to go up on there, which it's not wanting to. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, my two pieces of tiger tail are sitting if I hold them like this, they're sitting side by side. And that's exactly what you want. You don't want them to crisscross over each other because when you crimp this down, each piece of tiger tail is going to go in one of the, in an, its own little channel and they're going to be side by side. So you wanna get this pulled up pretty tight um, to where there's not a very big loop there. And I misplaced my crimping pliers. You're going to make sure that your wires are not crossed. You're going to take your crimping pliers Put this in and crimp it right down so just like that if you can see it did just what i said um, one strand is in one of those little divots the other strand is in the other and then when you turn it vertical and you use your pliers here to close it up it forms the perfect little sandwich <laughs> right there okay so then we're going to take our crimp cover and I like to set this right here in my pliers. It makes it a little easier. And I'm just going to put the crimp cover right over top of that crimp. Well, usually it's easier when I'm not on camera. Uh, right over top of the crimp and I'm going to close it up. There we go. I had to use my fingers to get it in there. And these crimp covers are from AliExpress and they're really terrible. <laughs> They don't close up right. Um, I mean, you can make them close up right, but they don't really very easily. So I would not advise buying them um, from AliExpress, but I did. And so I'm using them <laughs> because I have like a million of them. Okay, so let's close him up. Yeah, and see what I mean? They, they go uneven. They just, they don't want to close up right. And you have to just keep playing with it. And by the time you're done, it looks kind of mangled, but... It, it will close. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah. All right. So now we're going to take one of these little blue rondelles and feed it right onto our wire. Now, I want to try to get this um, to go over both wires up here. And it will, but it's a little tricky. You have to kind of force it to. It's a tight fit, but there. I do like to try to do that. Okay. Then I'm going to take two lapis beads number two, uh, three lapis beads actually. So you've got your 
you've got your little rondelle, then three lapis beads, then another little rondelle, a lapis bead, a rondelle, three more lapis beads, okay, three more lapis beads, and one more rondelle. Okay, you make sure that's all pushed down completely to the end, and then we're going to bring our wire up. We are going to put our other crimp tube on. We're going to take it through this hole right here, the loop on our... Now, what you want to really make sure you do here, <laughs> and let me get, get this straightened out. It's wanting to twist on me. Okay. So this little wire right here, it's wanting to twist up on me for some reason. And I just pulled my rondelle off of there. And for heaven's sakes, go back up on there. Okay. Um, usually they won't hardly come off once you get them on. Okay. So what you want to do is when you go back down through this tube here, you want to make sure, and I'm just going to pull it back through there and pull my rondelle down. Get it back through that rondelle and pull this very tight. Okay, so you want to make sure, number one, that this doesn't stick out of a bead. So make sure you're pushing that in the other side. And then you want to make sure that this pulls very, very tight. And you don't have any wire showing between your beads. Okay, so just pull that really tight. And now you want to pick this up and make sure, again, that your wires aren't crossed. I don't think mine are. They look like they're they're in the right position. So I'm going to try to crimp. And again, make sure this is pulled tight. Okay, I'm going to take my pliers and just slash it down there. And it looks good. So I'm going to rotate it vertical and close that up. Okay, just like that. Now I'm going to trim this off because it's going to really drive me crazy. There we go. And here's what we have. We've got our other little earring. Okay, so let's make sure if your wire's sticking out there that you try to tuck it down in a bead. It can be kind of tricky to do once you've trimmed it, but you really don't want it poking out. So just take your plier and either force it down in that bead or trim it a little closer. Either one. There we go. Okay. All right. So here's what we've got. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my other crimp cover on. Just right here. Okay. And again, these are the worst crimp covers ever. Do not buy them from AliExpress. Bad, bad move. I like a lot of the stuff I get from there. So it's not like you can blanket say that they don't have good products, but... The crimp covers are not the best. <laughs> I will say that. Okay, now we've got our two larger jump rings. We're going to open the smaller one and have it ready here. So let's open up this um, there we go, just like that. We are going to slide one on one end of the toggle bar and one on the other. Now you want to make sure these these jump rings are closed, okay? Slide them on here. And we're going to take this jump ring and we're going to catch them. So I'm going to go through the first one and then through the second one. Okay, just like this. I'm going to go ahead and put my lever back on. You can do it now or you can close this up and then open it back up. But I'm just going to do it now. And there we have our other little earring. So this is kind of a little chain mail thing here going on, not anything too <laughs> extreme, obviously. I'm not very good at chain mail, but um, that is a little chain mail component. And so here we have our two little earrings, and I think these turn out really cute. It's a very versatile way that you can use a toggle bar. Um, and you could actually hang something down from here if you wanted to, but I didn't want to. I wanted to kind of keep it simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're interested in subscribing to Bargain Bead Box, I have all kinds of playlists or a playlist that has all kinds of unboxings 
you can check them out. They are a subscription beading service. Um, I've heard they have a waiting list and someone was like, you need to say that in your videos. Well, if I knew the status of <laughs> Bargain Bead Box's wait list, um, I would, but I don't know the status of it all the time. I don't know if there's still a waiting list or if there, I mean, I know there has been one, so there could be a waiting list. I mean, if you get on there and find out that there's a waiting list, just put yourself on it um, and wait. That's all I know to tell you. But um, you can use coupon code WENDY2 and that will get you $2 off of your first box if you want to subscribe. Or if you don't want to subscribe and you just want to shop in their sister store, which I have a playlist full of unboxings for that too, um, you can use the coupon code WENDY2 to get $2 off of your box in their sister store. So um, anyway, I'll have links to all that in the description box below. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hey, Sadie Sue, what you doing over there? Huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you burying something? Oh, she's gonna hide it. What have you got? What is it? What have you got? Let me see. Sadie. What is that? <laughs> what is in your mouth? Let me see. No, I just want to see. What is that? Sadie, what is it? Oh, I see it. It's a sweet potato. It's yours. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> It's from, it's a sweet potato out of, it's the middle of a rawhide thing. Are you hiding it? I don't want it. I just wanted to make sure you didn't have something you weren't supposed to have. Are you hiding it? There it is. I see it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to get it. I don't really want it. Okay. Just wondered what you were over here doing, making all kinds of weird noises and. <laughs> all right, Sadie. Hey, Sadie Sue. Hey, Sadie Sue. Say bye to YouTube. Say bye. There's the bone. Watch her, if I reach for it. Okay. <laughs> get it, get your bone. <laughs> She growls like a vicious animal, but she's never bitten anybody. <laughs> I don't think she would. She just growls. All right, Sadie. See you later.